Hello friends. In this video, we are going to look at comparator interface. So the comparator interface is for user defined sorting order. In the previous example, we used a comparable interface to provide natural sorting order for our product class. So we added our product class to tree set and the tree set sorted our product in natural sorting order using the ID number. This ID, the sorting capability was built in the product class itself. Means we implemented the compare to method of the comparable interface in the product class itself. When we need more than one sorting, we should use external class which implements comparator interface. That means the comparator interface will be implemented by the external class. The comparable interface can provide only one sorting order because the contract exposes only one method which is compared to and that compare to method is implemented by the element itself so the collection store elements in our in our previous example the collection was a tree set that stores element the element is product and the product class implements comparable interface and comparable interface asks you to implement compare to method so we implemented compare to method so overriding is not possible i mean the overload is not possible so by combining all these we can say that comparable interface can provide only one sorting order and as per the standard that should be in natural sorting order using comparator we can define multiple sorting orders for example we can sort our product class by ID in descending, I mean the product ID descending or product name ascending. So these are all just an example and you can sort in whatever way you want. All right. The comparable interface asks you to implement compare to method. The comparator interface asks you to implement compare method. Beside is the compare method signature. So conceptually, the return value is equal between uh, compare to as well as compare so when the method returns zero both elements are equal and when it is positive or negative based on the outcome the element will be sorted so this method that means the compare method compares element e1 and e2 so in the previous method if you look at compare to method it receives only one parameter why because it is implemented in the element itself so the current object is always or the fixed object is referred as this and the element iterated over the collection is passed as parameter over the compare to method but here in the compare method since the compare method is external to the element class the compare method expects both the elements that means the elements that needs to be compared should be passed as parameter that's why you are seeing here two elements e1 and e2 here e1 is fixed and e2 is picked from the collection so in compare two method the fixed element is the this element that means the calling object is the fixed element and element iterated over the collection is passed as a parameter here if you see both fixed and the element which will be iterated over the collection both are passed as a parameter 
so the first parameter is fixed and the second parameter is the one which is iterated over the collection let us say this is our collection and the collection is a uh, uh, stack of the integer so let us say uh, the set of integer is 96321 and we want to insert a new element 7 so now we if we map this to compare method definitely to maintain the sorting order java will make a call to our compare method so when it is making the call to compare method e2 is the one which is taken from the collection so in the method if you see that is a parameter 2 e1 is the fixed element because that's the one we want to insert so it may call the method multiple time until java finds a slot for e1 in the existing collection so this is the method we are going to implement here if you see we we are returning by negating the i mean by subtracting e2 with e1 simply it is a subtraction of the parameter possible that means here what we are doing uh, the second parameter e2 e2 minus e1 we are performing so since we want to sort it based on a product id we are making call to get product id function when the method returns a zero e1 and e2 are equal we are going to implement this compare method to our tree set since it's a set it will not allow duplicate and when e1 and e2 both parameters are equal the incoming parameter will be ignored say for example if e1 is 9 then the element already exists in the collection and the element will not be inserted when it compares this new element 9 with our compare method our method will return zero so since it returns zero the collection framework that means the tree set knows that the element already exists in the collection so it discards the new incoming element but here in the picture what we are asking to insert is seven when the method returns positive e1 should move after e2 when the method returns negative e1 should move before e2 here the compare method sorts the product in descending order of a product id how okay let us explore this in eclipse and you will get the answer for how it will sort it in a descending order here is our uh, product class if you see we implemented this uh, product class in stages so in this video series initially we gave to product id and product name the constructor then we added getter and setters after that we implemented the hash code then we implemented i mean the we implemented hash code and the equal then in the recent lecture we implemented the compare to method and provided a natural sorting order for our uh, product class so when we started using this in a tree set and we saw that we are not able to add an element then we implemented compare to method after placing the implement keyword for uh, comparable so our product class implements comparable then it provided the compare to method also now let's go to the tree set number class so first we need to 
place the required packages so here we are going to use a tree set and we need to operate tree set based on the sorted set uh, uh, interface to print the tree set we are going to iterate over the tree set so we place the iterator also so all these are required Next, you see, we are going to create a new Java file to hold this uh, new class. So this is prod ID DESC and which implements comparator and the type is product. So it's a comparator for product. So once you place this implements comparator, you will be asked to implement compare method. So we already saw the signature of compare method, fixed and element. So these are all the two parameters. Then we place the return statement to provide a sorting order. So let us decide in what order it will sort by placing a simple example. Let us say the fixed is 2 and 1 that is coming from the collection is 3. I will say the fixed is 3 and 1 coming from the collection is 2. So if you see the fixed, fixed is the incoming one which is 3 here and 1 in the collection is 2. So 2 minus 3 is negative. That means 3 should be placed before 2 okay let us do it this way so element dot get prod id so element is the variable one this parameter 2 which means 2 and fixed fixed is the incoming parameter 3 so which is negative 1 so negative 1 means the incoming element it means the fixed element 3. 3 should stay to its left of the element in the collection. That means the order is 3, 2. So this is the order. Right? Now let us say the incoming element is 2 and 1 iterated from the collection is 3. Now what happens? Param2. Param2 is 3 now. 3 minus 2, which is positive 1. That means the existing element is 3. Now the incoming element is 2. Since it returns positive, the incoming element should move towards the right of the existing element. That means it should move towards right of 3. So in both the case if you see we are getting 3, 2. That means this is sorting it in the descending order. Alright, now we will implement this. So the class is prod ID DESC. So actually here it is giving it as a warning in all, in all our example we are not creating any package. So when you are implementing your class for your company or organization uh, using the default package is discouraged. So always provide a package then implement your class. Here for explanation purpose I am skipping that step. So here um, it's a prod ID description. That's the name we want to give to our uh, class. Then if you look at here, it implements comparator interface. So we will add the interface. 
comparator from Java dot util. Then we will add that. Then we'll say OK. So here it is asking T right here itself. We can provide product. Then click uh, finish. And if you see, it created a class for us. And once it created the class, it immediately thrown an error because it is asking you to implement unimplemented methods. So either you can click here or you can right click. Here override implement method is there, right? So we can click that. So source then override implement methods. Here we just want to implement only the compare method. So we just uh, so it already placed a tick mark and we can click OK. So now that error is gone. If I save that here at present it is returning zero. So what we want to return is to perform a sorting order in descending. Product ID. So based on product ID, we want to sort, and we want to sort it in descending order. So firstly, we'll place this as a body of this method. So we already explored how it works. Here the first parameter is instead of O1, let us place it as fixed, and second one is actually it's coming from the collection, so we will place it as element. Alright, now here if you see we are creating the comparator object for because here we created the comparator. Now we are creating instance of this product ID because yes, this is the class and the class implements comparator interface. So we are creating that class instance new product ID ESC. Then in the left side we are using the interface comparator. So using this comparator interface we can make a call to the compare method. Next what we are doing we are creating a tree set of product. Then here we are passing our comparator of, of comparator object. That means the product ID ESC object. What we are processing is the reference of type prod ID DEAC. That means here we are actually passing the prod ID DEAC object. So left hand side we are using sorted set. That's the interface uh, over the product. Then the reference name is set. In the previous example, we doesn't pass any parameter to the tree set. That means when the product is added to our uh, tree set, the product is sorted using the natural sorting order because our product already implemented the comparable interface. But this time to the tree set constructor, we are passing the instance of comparator. So our product DES implements comparator, so we are passing the instance of comparator or the object type of comparator or the object that implements the comparator so that we are passing to our tree set. Now what we are ultimately doing here we are since we have given the comparator object, so whenever you add an object to this uh, sorted set or the tree set the object will be sorted in the descending order. So we already saw how it is descending order. Right? So the compare method will help you to sort the elements in descending order. 
all right now we will place this core after this we are creating some sample product After creating the sample product, we need a method to iterate over the product. This is just for a printing purpose. We already saw this kind of method many times. So we get an iterator, then we use has next and the next to iterate over this uh, sorted set, then we will print the elements. So finally, we add the element to our set, then we will print the result. Okay, now we will debug and see how it works. So first we are creating the comparator, then we are creating our collection class. Then six sample products are created. After that, we are going to add these elements. Let us keep a watch here at the variable window. So by this time itself, you, you know that the order is a descending order because we are sorting it based on product ID, right? So that's all. If you look at here, the products are in descending order. So you can implement n number of such classes. Here we are sorting it based on product ID in descending order. So we can create one more class and you can use instead of product ID, you can use name. So if I use get product name, let me look at the method. Yeah, get prod name. So if you use get prod name here in both the places, then the sorting order here will be descending order of a product name. So you can create a new class and you can use the product name here. So, and you can call that uh, class as uh, prod name DSC, product name descending. So, likewise, you can create uh, multiple uh, classes that implements comparator. Then, when you want to sort, you can create the instance of that particular instance, then you can pass it to the uh, constructor of the tree set. Rest the collection tree set will take care that means it will iterate over the collection and makes a call to the comparators compare method all right now here we are printing the tree set and it will print the content in a descending order that's all in this video thank you for watching bye